So much for Ganabelt. Good riddance. You said it. So, was the Lord of Calaglia like Ganabelt too? No. Balsef was huge, a real tough guy act. Now that I think of it, his crest was different too. His was a flaming cross. Ah, oh, I see. Uh, anyway, what do you guys plan on doing from here? We keep moving. Three Renan Lords remain, and we won't rest until their thrones are empty as well. That worked for you, Xion? That was my endgame from the beginning. Hey, so if it's not too much trouble, could I maybe come along? Isn't Cislodia your home? I mean, yes, but it's just now that everyone knows what I've been hiding, well, it might be best to get as far away as I can until it all quiets down. Is that okay? I promise I'll pull my own weight. Sure. You're welcome to join us. Taking off, huh? Yeah. Thanks for everything. It's too bad. I wish there was more we could do to pay you back for all you've done. I'll see to it personally that Zephyr's remains reach Calaglia safely. What's next for Cislodia? I honestly couldn't tell you. The enemy infiltrated its way right to our core as a people. Only time will tell if we can rise above our suspicions and come together. Zephyr once told me that so long as you don't give up, there's no wall that can't be torn down. Sounds about right. And thanks to you, the greatest obstacle that was in our way is now gone. I suppose the rest of it will be up to us. I look forward to seeing how far you'll go. Oh, I almost forgot. Before you head off, there's something I wanted to give you. Hmm? Scrub up real nice. It was a parting gift. It's like speaking to one of the old Danon heroes from legend. Where to next then? Elda Menencia. You're really going to travel in that thing? Why not? It's not as heavy as it looks. Actually, there's someone I was hoping we could invite along with us. You can't be serious. Got some place to be? Not really. I mean, I can't stay here, of course. Then again, there's no one waiting for me back in Calaglia either. Plenty of ditches along the road. Maybe I'll find one to die in. How about a fresh start? After the kinds of things I've done, I don't know where I'd even begin. Your father said that as long as you face the past, there's hope. I think it might be a little late for that. He also said he'd fought and lost all his life, but didn't regret it in the slightest. <laughs> it's only over when you give up. Keep fighting and even that wall inside you can be brought down. Don't you want to see what your dad saw on the other side of that wall? What he was fighting for? Do you... Do you think I'm even worthy to? That's for you to decide. I... I'm sick of losing everything I love of running from life. 
Maybe all that's left is to just turn around and face it. Count me in. Finally. I thought you'd never finish. We've still got a ways to go. <laughs> Here we go, Hoodle. This armor was a gift from Bregan. What if it really did belong to a Danon hero once upon a time? Punched an overwhelmingly powerful Renin foe and perished for it. I wonder how he felt having the hopes of the people riding on him. Hey. Did you make off with that armor while none of us were looking? Because I've got to admit, you look pretty snazzy in it. He didn't steal it, if that's what you mean. Bregan gave it to him as a parting gift. Ah, right. Although it makes sense, I guess. It's like a symbol of rebellion in its own way. Which is why it should have been your father wearing this, not me. I don't know. I don't think he could have pulled it off like you, man. I wonder what the last wearer of this armor was dreaming of for Cislodia when they decided to rise up and fight. Who knows? Anyone who could have answered that is long gone. Truth is always lost with the departed. Are you saying there's no point in trying to understand why they gave up their lives? No. Only that it's impossible to know for sure. Look, I can tell that you're concerned about Cislodia's future. But we do have other things to take care of. You can't shoulder all of the world's problems, Alfin. If you try to, you'll only find yourself buried by the weight of it all. Yeah, I know. My path is forward, and I'll do what I can, here and now. You were born in Calaglia, right, Law? Hmm? Oh, yeah. It's scalding hot all the time there, so I was shocked when I learned Cislodia is the exact opposite. Not to mention dark. Not anymore, thankfully. How did you even manage to cross the border between realms? All five realms are supposed to be closed off, due to the nature of the crown contest. What? Is this an interrogation now? I didn't mean it like that. I just figured if a Danon like you was able to slip between realms, it could come in handy later. Ah, good thinking. I don't think I really did anything all that creative, though. What? Don't tell me you climbed over the walls of fire. Oh, hell no. Not even Zoogles could do something that crazy. Nah, I stowed away. In what? Oh, you'll like this. The realms don't maintain much contact with each other, but there are resources each is looking to trade for. So, there are cargo convoys from each of the Lords that go around a few times a year to lend those resources to each other. Oh yeah, I remember hearing about that. That was the only time the gates of Calaglia would ever open up. Right. Obviously, they don't let Danons ride with them, so I snuck on board inside some cargo instead. So you were carried out of the realm? You did great not getting caught. Way to go. Eh. Let's just say I've always had a knack for sneaking around since I was little. I was also really desperate to get the hell out of Calaglia at the time. I had more guts than brains that day. If I had a guess, I probably wasn't the first one to ever do something like that. Danon or Renan. I wonder if that's how Menic, I mean, Ganabelt, was able to hear about what happened in Calaglia so quickly. So in other words, we should always assume that the enemy is informed about whatever it is that we may be up to, wherever we go.
Thanks for letting me stick around, you guys. Sure. We're happy to have you. But are you sure you don't want to head back to Calaglia? Yeah. I'm not sure how I can help yet. But for now, I'm going to follow Alfin and see what happens next.
You see anybody around here who could use our help? We can't chase after every little thing. Right. Well? Hmm. Got it. Right. Finally made it. This could be useful. Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Xion. That looks like the Zugal we were told about. Be a delicious piece of cake. Oh, 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 Come and face me. Let's go get it. Do it. Oh, oh, it. Fury. In here. Double now. demon fang. First strike. Oh, 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 All we have to do is get rid of that thing, right? Little help! Away, Dragon Force! 
storm! Pierce through! I'm on it! Orochi, get out of here! We are freaking invincible! Alvin and the others truly are strong! Orochi, get out of here! We did it! These little ones are. This ends now! Consider yourself finished! We've reached our destination. Hmm? Right! Guess. You see anybody around here who could use our help? We can't chase after. Right. Hmm. All right.
Get everything? Yeah, let's report back to Brett. <sighs> Again. Always good to be back in familiar territory. I see. Got it. Something. All the owls we found. I guess this was their way of thanking us for finding them. It looks like they're grouping up by color. Is that a thing? Actually, the color of Dan and Owl's feathers is based on their maturity and their astral energy element. So maybe they stick to certain groups even if they all belong to the same kingdom. Then I guess that means we can tell just how many owls we found in each domain. <laughs> they seem to be saying something. Maybe they're thanking us for finding their buddies. <laughs> <laughs> then again, maybe they're telling us that we have more owls to find. I think the queen is protesting that they shouldn't put undue pressure on us. <laughs> Maybe he's arguing back that we're the only ones they can actually turn to? Right. 
which is why the queen is worried about sowing any ill will with us. Hoo, hoo. We'll do our best, so don't worry, I think. Can you understand them? <laughs> of course not, I'm just inferring. For some reason, when I hear them talk, that's just what I imagine them saying. Oh, well, I think you're pretty close to the mark at least. Well, don't worry about it. We're not breaking our backs over this. Ooh. I think that was a thank you. Seems like it, from both of them. <laughs> Hoodle seems happy with this. Isn't that nice, Rinwell? Huh? Uh, oh, yeah, absolutely. <sighs> We've reached our destination. Looks like we get to sleep with a roof over our heads. I'm impressed how well balanced this thing is. Ugh, we finally made it. Huh? 
Zephyr's words got through to him. The things he risked his life to say were worth it in the end. I just hope he got through to others, too. It might take some time, but I think they'll get there eventually. Shattering the 
Attack time! <laughs> what a I'll smash you! Here goes! <laughs> None shall <laughs> escape our hands! Raining Splash! Got it! Raining Splash! Now's our chance! Photon Splash! Raining Splash! This ends now! Consider yourself finished! I can feel my precision improving. Looks like some solid equipment. It's good to be back in familiar territory. I see. Right. Someone in trouble here. Well, let's see what they have to say. Hmm. Hey. Right.
Oh? All right. <laughs> 